In terms of 1064 supply negotiations, Terence, I think we have now contacted all of them. We have had some delays with some of the OEMs. We have had multiple discussions with OEMs um, as late as last week. We actually have the next round of discussions with them uh, later this week and early next week. Uh, we believe that before the year is out, you should actually be hearing of uh, finalization of some of the negotiations and discussions. And as you rightly point out, our opinion, our legal opinion is it's irregular as well as unlawful from a legal perspective. But those are the kinds of debates that you have to have. These are multi-billion uh, contracts and therefore they, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time with the lawyers debating uh, different matters of law. As far as the update on delivery is concerned, Terence, um, firstly, I think um, before we get into what is being discussed with the OEMs, I think it's key for us to note that these are very confidential conversations, and they are matters that uh, move from uh, the delivery schedules, timing, costs, goes up to things like uh, maintenance agreements and the like. As you correctly point out, General Electric have delivered uh, 233 of the locomotives, which was the total that they were contracted for. Um, uh, the China South Rail has delivered the pro approximately 249 locomotives up to now. Uh, China North has delivered 21, and Bombardier has delivered 51. They continue, the production lines continue. Um, they will continue until a negotiation or a s agreement is reached to act otherwise. Um, you ask around uh, the question of, so what is the discussion with an entity like General Electric? There's a number of matters that are ensconced in the legal documents. It's not just the delivery of locomotives. We talk about uh, supplier development, localization. We talk about uh, the initiatives that entities need to, and not necessarily, I'm not speaking specifically to General Electric, but largely and broadly, I think they talk to what can be contributed to the South African economy in different uh, aspects, not just from the delivery of locomotives. We also need, as a board, as well as a management, we need to consider the impact of maintenance of these locomotives and how we will go about those. So those are some of the discussions that are taking place at the moment.